All right, you guys, I have a quick tip that you need to look out for, and it's with copycat or fake suppliers. So here's what happens, okay? You find a hot selling product on Amazon, and then you look and you find the exact image on Alibaba, and you're like, wow, I could just source that. It's a trap. All right, don't get caught in it. <laughs> Trust me, I've been on Alibaba. There's pig there was pictures of me on Alibaba at one point with my products, okay? So this is what happens. A new factory is getting going, or it's a trading company. What do they do? They say, hmm, there's Amazon sellers selling on, uh, there's Amazon sellers, and they want hot selling products that sell on Amazon. So where do you think that new factories go to get their images? That What they do is, you know, there's some companies out there that just take literally the best selling products on Amazon, and then they just say that they're selling those, okay? And then now when people go and look it up, they're like, wow, look, I can make so much money. I could just source that right there. Well, they don't have that actual product at the same quality. They're just kind of like, you know, they're getting hustling and started there. So whenever you see the same image on Alibaba as on Amazon, beware, it's probably a trap. Because the person that's ranking on the top on Amazon is probably not just taking the exact photos from Alibaba, it's probably the other way around. Unless it's such a like, I mean, that'd be a really bad Amazon seller. Anyways, so here's just a quick example. I, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because I just said, hmm, let's go to the famous pet glove example. Well, what do you know? The number one selling pet glove. Well, when we go to Alibaba, guess what? Oh, what do you know? It's the exact same image. So I didn't, I literally just had to do one example in my head and found it already. Now, like, let granted, it's a, it's a pet glove. It can't be that hard to mess up and don't go into pet gloves. Just an example that you need to do your due diligence and really check and make sure it's a good supplier and that this is a trap that some people get stuck in. Let's say if we were to click on this now, uh, there's a way that you could know. Uh, essentially, if we take this, you could essentially do a reverse image search on it. You could just like right click it, you know, if it was an image that's a video, but um, you could just kind of you could uh, search Google for this image and find out where else it exists. And then you can also do that on the other parts of the company. Uh, so let's see, what about this image? Is this image of their factory somewhere else on the, on the internet? Yeah, so I wasn't able to find that one on the internet, but that's a basic little uh, trick. You don't have to do it on every one, but just be aware of that in that, uh, yeah, you can always do reverse image searches uh, to figure out if the if the image that you're looking at is real or if it exists somewhere else on the internet because uh, yeah, you don't wanna get trapped into thinking, wow, I'm gonna get the exact same product, go ahead and source it and then you know, uh, waste your time contacting and getting samples from them. So hope this was helpful and on to the next video.